Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer, this is a new brewery. I picked up a couple of these uh, different beers from Beach Brewing Company. They're out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, this is their Hammerhead IPA. Got a nice uh, artwork on the label there. Uh, Hand-drawn fish. Uh, I'm sure it's a hammerhead shark. On the side it says, got hops. This vicious IPA does, boasting powerful hop flavor and aroma. Our hammerhead combines a carefully selected malt base, three varieties of bowl hops, and a generous dry hop to form an India Pale Ale with exceptional balance. Don't be a knucklehead and your responsibly. Uh, that's about all it's got on there other than 6% ABV alcohol by volume on the label there, guys. Uh, I don't know how long these guys have been in business, so this is the first time I've seen it up there. They just got it in, and Beer Advocate don't have anything listed at all. They have that their, that brewery there, but it doesn't have this beer, so I don't know if it's the first time they brewed this beer or, or whatever. Uh, it doesn't say, so uh, Beach Brewing Company out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Not before this weekend, uh, I had not seen or heard from these guys, so... Uh, it's an IPA, guys. The food pairings for this is going to be uh, your grilled meat, game meat, uh, the glassware is going to be the pint, the becker, stein, the mug, about anything you want to pour it in, Sidell, whatever. Uh, just pour it into something. This is the bomber, 22 ounce. It's a big bottle. So uh, share it if you got somebody to share it with. We can get this a little bit ahead. Put it out of center here and maybe get this a little bit. Alright, guys. Pour is very orangey over into the light. It is very orangey. Just a little bit darker than a golden color. So it is a little darker and it is clear. And evidently, it is a filtered beer. Looks pretty good in the glass. Pour us about uh, a little more than a half a finger of head. Really bright white head there on that one. Looks really good in the glass, a lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Let's get a nose on it. Got a nice hop presence there. I am getting a lot of, a lot of citrusy floral hops there. I don't think I have anything on the hops that they do use on this. Like I said, I haven't heard much about this. There's not much on, on it. Uh, Matter of fact, Rape Beer doesn't have a whole lot on it. So Beer Advocate and Rape Beer don't have a whole lot to, to say about this beer. So it must be pretty new. I don't know if they did it last year or it's fairly new. Don't have any history on it, guys. So First time I'd seen it up at Venezuela when I was there. Cheers, guys. There's a nice citrusy floral hop presence there, but it's not overwhelming. It's not a, it's not a big IPA. Not bad. To me, it's more of an earthy, earthy floral hop. It's not the real piney, the grapefruity hop. I don't know what hops. Let me see if I can find out what hops uh, they use on this while I'm sipping on this and sharing a little bit with other guys. So it's a definitely an IPA, but it, I'm not getting anything to point me one direction or other of what type of hops they've used in this. So uh, I'll see if I can find that out while we're, uh, we're sipping on it. So stick around, I'll be right back, and we'll see what this one brings. Alright guys, I've got just a little left here. You can definitely tell this is an IPA. I couldn't tell. I went to the website. Couldn't find out what hops they used. Couldn't really find out a lot about it, really. Uh, 
it must be pretty pretty new brewery and this beer in particular is must be something new that they've done so like I said I don't have anything the beer advocate doesn't have any, it's not even listed on their site and I bought a couple of their beers and the other ones are listed on that site so those will be coming up and we'll see what those bring but it's an IPA but it, it's it, it's no hop slam trust me final joke Easy drinking, very easy drinking. Six percent beer. You can session your beer. I mean, it, it, but I like more taste than what it's got. Uh, to me, it looks like they need to double what they're doing on their hops as far as not the bittering. It's fairly bitter already, but they need to increase the uh, the aroma or flavor hops or even the dry hopping. I don't know what hops they're using. It needs to have a little more punch to it, in my opinion. If you're just getting into the IPAs, this may be a winner for you. This may have just enough, but it may be more on the bitter side rather than the sweet, hoppy side. Uh, I like the bells and the hop slams and, and the stuff that have the real piney grapefruit, real hop, hoppy presence. Sweet, not the bitter, but the sweet presence. So, uh, with that being said, guys, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. Guys, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a six. I'm gonna give it a B. It's a it's a B beer. It's uh it's an above average beer. It doesn't have any funky taste or anything. Uh, it's got it's got a lot of information on the label here. It'll tell you uh, what the ABV and stuff is. But I think the being a Virginia beer, I'm gonna be a little more uh, biased toward them. And uh, and I think uh, like I said they don't have a whole lot of information on. So I think it's pretty pretty uh, pretty new brewery getting started. So. I'm going to try to support them as much as I can, even though this ain't nothing that I would go seek out to get, if you see it. It is an IPA, and you can tell it is a hoppy beer. Don't have a date on it anywhere that I can see on the bottle. Don't see a code or anything on it. So that's a, that's a downfall as far as an IPA, as far as I'm concerned. But I feel pretty comfortable this is a fresh bottle since they don't have anything on it, and it's uh, they just started carrying it in Venice Cellar, so... Guys, I'm rambling on. If you've seen this beer, you I don't know what the distribution is on this. So unless you're in Virginia or somewhere close to Virginia Beach, you may not be able to get this beer. And from what I've seen on the website, they have a lot of uh, uh, restaurants or bars or, or establishments that serve their beers on draft. So uh, I think they're just getting into the bottling part of it and starting to get out. Uh, so. Guys, give it a try if you see it. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. And come on back tomorrow. We're looking to the fridge. Just do it together. See you then.